I'm going to start outlining my drawing on here. So you want to take a look at your final draft sketch. Make sure that that is how you want it. And then you want to start drawing the outline of your features in this drawing on the masonite. And it's going to be a little difficult to see because as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, especially on the camera, pencil marks on the masonite, but depending on the lighting, if you turn it into the light, you'll be able to see that outline. Once you have a basic outline of your design on the masonite, you can, if you have any kind of marker or pen or Sharpie, even just a regular pen will make it stand out a little more. You can go over your entire design with a pen or marker so that it stands out a little more. But we want to start in pencil just so if there's anything we want to change about it as we go, we can erase it and fix any little mistakes or anything we make. So eraser, as long as we're working in regular pencil, any kind of eraser will just erase it right off of the surface. If there's any problems with one side of the masonite, you can switch it over to the other side and draw it on this other side. It does seem like one side is a little more textured than the other though, but that's not going to make any difference for when we uh, start gluing glass down. It just might make it a little more difficult to draw on. So I want to start on the smooth side. All right, so I'm gonna start making my, where did I put it, my final draft drawing. And I'm gonna to start to kind of translate that into a drawing on here. So what helps a little bit is the paper might not be exactly the same size. My paper is a little bit bigger. But what I can do is I can take it and kind of line it up and say, okay, the ground starts right, oops, it's hard to see on this camera. The ground starts right about here. So I'm gonna make a little mark there. I'm gonna take the other side and say, okay, the ground part starts right about here. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same as your original draw or your final draft sketch as long as it looks the way that you want it to look. So I'm gonna kind of come in from the sides of roughly where the ground is. I know that's super hard to see on the camera. Maybe if I turn on the light. It doesn't seem that way. But you wanna kind of outline where it is. So I have my main little line here for the ground that my focal point is going to be sitting on. And let's see, we have the tire kind of around here. So I'm going to make a little mark. It's okay to just make some basic little marks and outlines of where things are and then go over it later and erase any kind of stray lines. So I'm gonna say, okay, the wheel is about there. So and then let's see, we have the trailer comes to the edge right about here. So I'm gonna put a mark here to kind of know where that's gonna be. The other part of it's kind of right about here. So it looks like width wise, the paper is just a tiny bit longer but height-wise, this paper is a little bit longer or higher. So I have about that much extra space on my paper from my actual masonite. So it's just gonna be a little bit shorter. So things might change just a little bit as far as the size and kind of proportion of everything to each other. Kind of like how it did when we went from our 
rough draft sketch up to the larger size. It might be scaled down just a tiny bit, not quite as dramatically different from our rough draft sketch to the final draft sketch, but it's gonna be a tiny bit different in size potentially. Not everything as far as the masonite and the paper is always cut perfectly exact. So things might change just, just a tad. So I'm going kind to of round that out over here. And down, maybe around here. So it's totally fine to make kind of little reference lines to kind of come back to later when you're kind of sketching out where everything's going to go. This, this kind of comes out a little bit over here, goes down like that. But I have it from about here to here, and my sketch is looking like the trailer is a little too short. So I'm going to take it out a little farther. And then I can go in and erase any of these, these extra little lines. As long as you press pretty lightly with your pencil. It's not going to take a whole lot to erase it off of this material. That's my line that goes through the middle of the trailer is about here. I'm gonna draw a little line like that. And so, so hard to see on here. So I have my basic outline of the trailer, which is pretty impossible to see on this camera. I just want to kind of draw it out. It'll be a lot easier for you to see it on your own piece. There we go. I can see it a little bit. A little hitch soon come out here. So on my actual drawing, I have quite a bit of space on this end, but in my drawing on my masonite, it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just adjusting things a little bit as I go. And all of this is going to end up being covered by all the glass anyway. So it's primarily just for a reference. So we know where each different part of our design is going to be so that we know what colors to put where. But in the end, the actual drawing itself is not that big of a deal because it's all going to be covered in glass anyway. But the better the drawing is, the better kind of reference we're going to have for where to put everything. Let's see. So I'm going to have some kind of hillsides happening here. And I do have to keep in mind the few little modifications I was making to this to adjust things. So I'm going to end up only having two hills on this one side so that I don't have to worry about whatever green color I choose for this far back one blending in with either the lighter blue green or the darker green. So I'm just going to kind of take that hill out and maybe make one of these hills bigger or both of them bigger so that I just have to have two, kind of like this other side. So 
that. Let's see, I have one hill there, and then I have another hill going around like that. Not that you can kind of see it. And then over on this other side, let's see, we're going to have a hill kind of coming up like this. Maybe another one going down that way. And so as you're drawing this out, you want to keep thinking about how it's creating emphasis and how it's creating space making sure it's doing those really well, making sure you have any elements of art that you chose to make a principle of design of emphasis. So in mine, I'm using size, which isn't necessarily an element of art, but it does help create emphasis. Maybe if I turn this around like this. There we go, we can kind of see it. So my focal point is nice and big, so that's going to help create emphasis. It's in the foreground, which it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it being big up front in the foreground does really help create that emphasis. And then I'm going to have those kind of sun ray light or sunlight rays coming in, kind of going towards my focal point to help create kind of, I guess it's shapes technically when it's those chunks of color, but essentially shape and line is helping me, helping the viewer's eye kind of go right to my focal point. So it's helping me create emphasis in that way. And I'm also making sure it's nice and big to bring attention to it. And so if you are still in the process of working on your final draft sketch, make sure you're getting that drawn out, colored, so that you have a plan for what colors are gonna go where. So from what I can tell from this webcam here, it's going to be really difficult to take a picture of our sketches on our masonite. So you'll really want to find some sort of pen or marker or anything, even just a regular pen if you don't have a Sharpie or any kind of marker, but anything that will make the lines darker once you have it drawn out. But you really want to start in pencil so that you can sketch out and make any changes um, as you go. So, so far, Really kind of hard to see, but that is what mine is looking like so far. I have my main focal point mostly drawn out here. I'm going to add the details like the windows. And I have some hillsides here that I've adjusted from my final draft sketch to fix the problem I was having with these hills here and only two green colors. So I've changed that so I just have the two hills here. So this also is really big compared, it's a little bit bigger than it is in this drawing. Paper size is just a little bit different. So it comes a little farther to this side and a little farther to this side than in my drawing. So I've just adjusted things a little bit as I moved along with this. I'm just going to kind of go in as I work on this and touch up any kind of stray lines. So anything that you want to include in your piece you want to make sure is drawn out on the masonite.
So since the proportions of everything change a little bit, it's gonna change kind of the placement and the size of my windows a little bit. So I just wanna kind of adjust them till they look proportionate and look correct compared to the size of the rest of everything else in my drawing. I might need to make this a little bit taller. So I've just adjusted things a little bit. One window ended up being a little bit bigger and a little farther to one side than in my drawing, but that's because I need to leave a little bit of space for the door. And it's because everything's just a little bit different size-wise, just by a tiny bit from the paper. So I'm just gonna go in and clean up some of my extra little lines. It's fine to make lots of different lines as you sketch it out. Then you wanna go in and kind of clean that up a little bit. And if you're at a point where you have it all drawn out, make sure to go over it with some sort of pen or marker or anything that's going to make it darker. So even if I'm just going over with this pen here, it'll help it show up a little bit better right here. And so then it'll be easier to take a picture of to turn in for the masonite outline. And if you get to a point where you have it all outlined in pen, you can kind of take some glass and see how everything is going to look. You have certain colors, how is it gonna fit into a certain area? And if you need to make any changes to your design based on the size of those pieces. So I'm going to have my windows be mirror, for example. So. I want to kind of look at my design and see are the pieces I have of mirror, is that going to be big enough and the right size for different pieces? This one just so happens to be a rectangle, but if I have lots of little triangles, are they small enough to fit together to fill that space or am I going to need to make something bigger? So you wanna think about those kind of things to see if you need to make any kind of adjustments to your design based on the size of the pieces of whatever color you're going to be using for any particular area.